This video is sponsored by Toya and contains an advertisement for Toya. Toya is the world's leading Internet of Things platform which has smart enabled more than 252,000 product SKUs in over 220 countries and regions. Toya's IoT cloud infrastructure is capable of processing over 122 million AI voice interactions and over 84 billion cloud requests a day. You can easily build Toya IoT devices with Raspberry Pi or Arduino compatible boards. Toya sent me the Arduino format sandwich boards and also the Bluetooth bridge and fingerbot which we're going to look at first. The bridge allows Bluetooth devices to be connected to Wi-Fi, it needs USB power and the idea is you leave it permanently plugged in. It's pretty easy to add to the Toya app, all you need to do is click on add and normally these things just pop up and you can just add them which takes a couple of seconds. You need to run the Toya app on a device which is on the same Wi-Fi as the device you want to add to the Toya cloud, and the app will actually set the Wi-Fi details on the devices. Now we've got the Bluetooth bridge set up, we're going to add one of the fingerbots, and that should add pretty quickly after it's gone off and looked for new devices. We can add multiple fingerbots and other Bluetooth devices, and once it's added we can rename it, but I'm just going to leave mine called Fingerbot1. The Fingerbot is an Internet of Things enabled smart motor that can press switches for you, so you can press buttons on control panels, turn on and off lights, and activate other devices which aren't smart. You can also set the end stop for the switch if you don't need to press it all the way down to the bottom. So let's set that to 50%, and now you'll find when I activate the Fingerbot, it only moves down halfway. The Fingerbots seem really useful, but what about if I want to build my own device? So let's have a look at these Arduino format sandwich boards. I've got the Wi-Fi MCU board WB3S, and this stacks on top of an Arduino to allow Wi-Fi connectivity into the Toya cloud for your project. There's an Arduino library that comes with some really simple code that allows you to bring your Arduino project into the Toya cloud and turn simple pins on and off using the Toya app. You can develop your own devices at iot.toya.com which is the cloud development platform. It's really easy to create a new device, so I'm going to create a standard light source that can turn a light or a switch on and off. I'm going to make a custom solution and pick light source, give it a name and then create the device. You can assign lots of functions to your device, but I'm going to remove them all and just put back the on off because that's all we need for a simple switch. We then need to set up the hardware, so we go all the way down to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth board that I've got, select the firmware, and there's only one version for that, and for this simple device we're all done, and now you can see we have a unique PID number that we can put into our Arduino code. There are lots of example projects and guides that show you how to build Arduino projects with the Toya IoT Cloud. There are many more types of Arduino format sandwich boards available with different types of connectivity, sensors, inputs and outputs. You could even build an Arduino project that reads sensor inputs and activate outputs on another cloud-connected Arduino somewhere else in the world using the Toya IoT Cloud. For now though, I'm going to do something a lot simpler and use the sandwich socket board to turn something on and off. The socket board is for switching mains outlet powered devices and it has a relay on rated at 10 amps at 250 volts. It's just as easy to add your Arduino project with a Toya sandwich connectivity board to the Toya app. So now you can see that I can turn on and off the socket board, and if you listen carefully you can hear the relay clicking. Now all of these products are wireless, but I want to make something completely wireless. So yep, I've bought a really big mains inverter rated at 2000 watts. It takes 12 volts on one side so we can power it from batteries, and gives me mains outlet power on the other side. So I've designed a chassis to hold the inverter, some lithium polymer batteries, and the Toya Arduino sandwich format boards.
I've got four drone style 3 cell LiPo batteries. Each one is rated at 5.2 amp hour and 12 C. That means that the peak current we can draw from each one is 5.2 times 12 amps, which is 62.4 amps. I've got four of these, which means I can source a total of nearly 250 amps from the pack. 250 amps at 12 volts is nearly 3 kilowatts, so this is good enough to power our 2000 watt mains inverter, for a short time at least. Those batteries fit right into a 3D printed pocket which has a nice velcro strap tied around to hold them in. I made up a wiring loom with some connectors for each battery and proper crimped eyelids. The positive wires all go for a really big fuse that was provided with the mains inverter and the negative wires go to the ground on the inverter. So now if I power it on we can see we've got 12.8 volts, although it thinks the battery is flat because a car battery normally is 13.4 volts, but also tell me how much power is being drawn. Turning the inverter on and off seems like an ideal job for Fingerbot, so I've mounted one of those right there, and that allows me to turn it off remotely from my phone. And of course this is using the Toya IoT Cloud, which means I could turn it on and off from my phone from anywhere in the world. I don't really want to put the load straight on the inverter as soon as it's powered on, I'd really like to power it up first and then switch the mains appliance on. So I'm using the Toya Sandwich socket board to switch the actual mains. With a bit of mains wiring, I've wired in another separate socket, and that's wired through the socket board with the plug to get the power plugged into the inverter. I've also added a USB boost bank and a USB hub so I can power both the bridge to control the fingerbot and the Arduino boards. So now as well as being able to power on and off the inverter itself, I can independently switch the mains power to power on and off devices. And as you'd imagine, this also works from anywhere in the world using the Toya IoT Cloud. But you've seen the title and the thumbnail for the video, so it's time to get something a bit higher powered. Presenting the IoT microwave that works literally anywhere. And before anyone asks, it's only rated at 1200 watts, so it's absolutely fine to be powered from our power source. I've been attaching all my devices to a portable Wi-Fi hotspot, so that means everything's truly portable and works anywhere there's a signal. So let's make a cup of traditional British tea. First of all, a lemon, ginger and honey herbal tea bag. With some water. And the finest oat milk. Pop it in the microwave. Shut the door and set the timer for two minutes. And now I can go hiking, but on my way back to the tent in the evening, I can just get out my phone and turn on the microwave to make the tea. And by the time I get back to the tent, my tea's ready. Mmm, delicious tea. And of course I can turn on the microwave from anywhere in the world using the Toya app and the Toya cloud.
So thanks to Toya for making this video possible. You can check out lots of ready-made solutions at the Toya Solutions Center. And of course you can develop your own devices using the Arduino sandwich boards or the Raspberry Pi Link SDK. So just go to the Toya IoT Cloud and register a free account and you can get started right away developing apps and devices in just a few minutes. I'll put those links in the description to this video as well. Alright, that's all for now.